Hello and welcome to episode 6 of series 5 of Become a Legend Story Mode. So we ended the last episode on a slightly more positive note. After what was this season a rare, rare win for Borough United. And crucially for us, a brief substitute appearance that led to our first competitive goal for Borough United. Lovely, lovely work. Uh, we had a draw before that and a loss in the AFC to uh, Guangzhou Evergrande. Um, but we go up against them straight off in this episode as we look to maybe salvage a tiny glimmer of hope in the Champions League. Then it's back into League One for a uh, home game against Ratchaburi Mitropol. Now, I've made a decision. I'm going to try this week to do two slightly shorter episodes. So it's going to be today, Thursday, and then I'm thinking Monday for the second episode. So we're going to we're going to try that. So hopefully this will be a little bit shorter, but you are going to get two episodes in a week. And stay tuned because we do have a skills challenge ready to go after this first game, assuming we're playing the whole game. Let's go and take a look at the messages and find out. We're starting it right back. Lovely stuff. Okay, back into the Champions League. An absolutely huge, huge game here. And let's remind ourselves of how we're looking in the group. Well, a win today would take us above Guangzhou Evergrande and, assuming this or Kobe, uh, only get a point or less, we could be right back in this. That is the optimist in me talking here. So uh, let's go and take a look at how the sides are going to line up for this one. So how are we looking? Oh, upward arrow, good. Still 69 rated. Um, we're not progressing much. We do need to get some training points in. Stay tuned for that, hopefully. Uh, Chai did today. What a game he had in the last one. A goal and an assist. I think he assisted our goal as well. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes up for all the times where we've put it on an absolute plate for him. But anyway, him and Big Ricky up top. Uh, Nasser Barazite in alongside us there. And we have the unenviable task today of marking Taliska. That is going to be some mission. And Paulinho is also playing on our side. As pff, This is going to be a huge, huge test for us here. Uh, they've got I Kessen up top today in place of Taliska. And he is also pretty damn solid. 78 rated. We have got all of the bad stuff happening on our side. NASA, we're going to need your help, mate. We're really going to need your help. But look, we're at the Chang Arena with the home crowd behind us. And hopefully we can have some magic happen here today after a much needed win in the last one. Who knows? Who knows? Here we are, the Thunder Castles in their own castle here. And uh, we would have been settling in to our new home in the last week. Obviously in the last episode we did a bit of house hunting. We're not too far away. I think it's about a 10 minute car journey uh, from the stadium. Obviously the training ground right by it as well. Goal in the last one. Can we provide a goal or assist in this one? That would be huge. Two games in a row. We're really showing the manager what we have. But today, <laughs> I'm sure the focus is going to be on defence. And we have a hell of a task on our hands. Let's get into it. So 20 minutes in here. A very cagey start to this first half. We are not looking forward to coming up against Taliska physically. Particularly in the air would be a problem. Oh, Paulinho. Wins a foul there from Nasser Barazite. And he's going to take this one. It's a real opportunity here. And it is going to be Taliska over this one. The big man with the left foot. Oh, he whips a crafted little chip ball in. I thought he might go for goal there. Oh, I thought we might get that back. Danger not cleared though. Zhang Zhuwei don't give away another free kick. Oh, they've taken it quickly, mercifully. Now Lin Peng looks to put a ball in. Well, this game has been all... Guangzhou Evergrande. We haven't actually had the ball out of our half so far. We're digging in. We're digging deep. Looking to hit him on the counter if we can. Well, we repel. Yet another attack from Guangzhou Evergrande. And we're on our bike here. We've got the pace to get away from Paulinho. Don't really want to go up with him in a physical battle. Oh, we slip it into Ricardo Bueno. This is better here. It's be the only real option. Oh, went for the dummy. And Paulinho can clear it, but... <gasps> Big mistake there from Paulinho. Ah, big mistake there from me. We've still got it. Looking for options here. Running into blind alleys. Oh, I've actually done really well there. We want it back. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Time to look up and oh, put an early cross in, but that's poor. Doesn't beat the first man. The cardinal sin of crossing. Gowlin, that's a good ball. Inside for Aikesen. Dangerous shot there. Keeper, not too confident. Eventually gets his gloves on it. He plays it into us quickly here. Can we get away from Ikes and the striker? Surely not got the legs or the want to follow us all the way. That's really poor. Pressure him, pressure him, Chidi. Ah, 
And now we're out of position. Taliska here is going to look to float one in. You'd think you'd want him looking for the ball. Oh, good. Solid header away there. Defensive solidity. Hold it up, Ricky. Jai did. Plays it on. Half time nearly upon us here in what has been a very slow and uh, very poor quality first half. Particularly from Buraram. But Guangzhou have played their part in what has not been a good game of football so far. But can we craft a late chance here? Not with a ball like that, we can't. It's going to be zero added minutes on that very attractive digital scoreboard. And that is 45 minutes done and dusted here in Buraram. The Chang Arena, certainly not the venue for a uh, classic game of football. Two shots on target from Guangzhou. Nothing from us. 50% possession, but we played almost all of that in our own half. Um individual match records wise we've had a cross and a clearance and we missed two passes we can build on that it's a good base it's just a base though come on Taliska good ball into Lee come on pressure no he's done us there go on yes 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 ball down the line Chided needs to hold it up here hold it Chided didn't want it there mate Ball inside to Nasser Barazai, his turn. Find the other midfielder. Didn't really want that scooped into the path of Paulinho, but can we win a header here? We can. Yes. All over the top. Oh, held up there. Ref, ref, ref. Obstruction. Oh, there was an opportunity there. Definitely an opportunity. Steps inside here. Finds Chided again. Now Barazai. That's an interesting ball. Could fall to Bueno. Doesn't. But the left back is there to pick it up. It's a clever looking ball. Oh, we're absolutely clattered there. We put our life on the line for that one. Didn't get close and now we've got a long run back. But we're back in position. No problem. A lot of people have been complaining about my positioning. I get it. But, you know, Bandovic wants this from his, uh, from his right back. We're a right wing back in a team that plays attacking fullback special instructions. You know, imagine an Andy Robertson. If you look at the average heat map for Andy Robertson for Liverpool, he's always getting in the box constantly. He's basically playing as a winger. And that's what we're trying to emulate here, just on the right side. And uh, and we're doing it. And as well, we're playing not even with, with three up top, so I don't see any problem with us getting forward. Better build up here. Really nice stuff. Can we keep hold of it? No. Not the time or the place to be giving away possession there. It's a good ball slipped down to Gowlin. He's got the striker and Taliska to look for in the box. Has to come back. Oh, we've let him get away from us there. That's poor. That's poor. Just lost our heads there defensively. We were looking to cover him. Had him in our sights. Had him. Oh, he's just stepped away from us there. And that's a good finish. It was coming, really. We've not created much in this one. But it's disappointing to see our AFC dream slip away. Oh, Guangzhou now. Just taking their time, passing it around, dominating the game after scoring the goal. Can we win it back there? No. They still have it. With Zupen now. Barazite pressuring. Paulinho on it. Gets away from us. Oh, the striker's inside again, and that's another really good opportunity for him. Couldn't quite finish that one off, and this ball goes out. And I imagine that'll be the end of our game today. Didn't really go to plan. Didn't really go to plan. It was always going to be a difficult game. We were going up against, by far and away, the most difficult op opposing numbers that we're ever going to come up against in Taliska, Paulinho on our side. And we had to try and say solid defensively. Had to try and be in the right position at all times. And it cost us going forward. We didn't have as many chances to get into the box or to get forward. Try for some crosses into the box as we have done. And it looks like our final chance of getting anywhere in this competition Finishes today, but Ricardo Bueno with a chance there. A draw might have just done it. It's our first opportunity of the game. The big Ricky B couldn't finish it off. And that will be time here at the Chang Arena, and it will be time on our dreams and our hopes of progressing in this competition. I'm not looking forward to the average rating for this one. We didn't have a chance to get involved in the game very much, and when we did, it was always going to be difficult. One shot on target and 43% possession, though, suggests that as a team, we really struggled today. And it's a five. I sort of expected that, really. A rating mirrored by our defensive partners as well. Yeah, tough game against a really good side. I would I wager probably the best side in our group. But of course, the good thing is now we can concentrate on the league. <laughs> Two final wins in the group might give us a chance. 
5.8 average rating. That's okay. We're all right. We want to aim for six or above for the season. Absolutely. If we want to get a move away, I still need to take a look at the potential leagues that I think would be reasonable for us to move to and the average rating goals to, to be able to even negotiate with a team in that league. So only three days later. We didn't play the full 90. We should be fairly fresh, but will the performance have allowed us a start today? We are starting. Lovely, lovely stuff. But before we get into that game, we do have another skills challenge, and boy, do we need it. We need to start ranking up some of these trainings. And thankfully, today's challenge is a general challenge that's going to allow us focus points in any training area that we like. This should have been a relatively quick one. Let's take a look. So here we are on another wet Devon Sunday, and it actually looks pretty nice weather there, doesn't it? But it was a pretty brutal day but I found a small gap thankfully not a big enough gap to go and do the bleep test that's still TBC but for this challenge I wanted to go with a, a challenge that I actually attempt fairly regularly I have to be honest every time we play five side in the uh, indoor courts the basketball nets there you have a go at them at the beginning at the end it's a bit of a tradition and uh, episode two and three start Doncaster Dave is a bit good at this but I can hold my own so let's get into it and see how I get on Okay, 10 attempts. If we get it in, we get an extra special bonus five attempts for the flare. Let's do it. So, simple stuff. Get it in within 10, that is one focus point. But, to add a little extra spice to this, um, as you heard there, I'm gonna go for a flare version. <laughs> I don't know where that expression came from, but that's what we're trying. It's gonna be a little flick and a, flick and a dink, but we'll see if we get to that, if we manage to complete uh, one basket within 10 attempts. Pretty reasonable challenge. Uh, should be should be doable, shouldn't it? Let's go and see. So sporting a lovely pink jumper here. I'm sure you're all big fans. Going for a sort of half volley technique. That would be difficult to do. If that was the challenge, <laughs> to hit it off the bar and back to you, that would also be worthy of a focus point. But here we go. Sort of a... It's not a half volley, is it? But I felt like this was the best way. Oh, there with the Larry Bird. Uh, this, is, this is the way I normally go for it. Just a little bit of bounce to it, so you can scoop underneath. That's not far off. That's not far off at all. Let's have another one here. Not quite. Erroneous juggling there. That's, that's quite far off. Oh, a fan. Ooh, is that the F2 freestylers? I don't know why he's got a northern accent, but anyway. One off the backboard, not too far. I think we're on six now. This would be number seven. A chip. And in. Oh, he's bloody done it. Cheers, lad. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Here we are. Time for the flare version. It's a little flick and then a... I don't, I don't even know what you'd call it. I always, always called this the Edgar Davids flick as a tribute to the uh, one of the Nike adverts that he was in, where I'm sure he did a similar thing. It's a little sort of roll to the side and then flick up with the... Well, in my case, the left foot. Oh, that was a close one. Off the rim there. And that one's fairly far wide. But, yeah, it's, it's not, not the trickiest skill ever. Um, but apparently, to combine it with uh, getting it in the net, 10 might be a bit optimistic. <laughs> Oof, and that wasn't far off. But to be honest, once I started, I thought, I'm going to get this done. I think we might be well past 10 now. I think that is probably 10. And uh, at this stage, I was maybe considering giving up probably around the time of that one. Missed the backboard completely. Oh, just sort of drifting to the side. <laughs> In my head, I don't know why I said five. This was always going to be more difficult than the original one. The wind really picking up here. It was a pretty crappy day, but I can't really blame that. Managed to hit the backboard there. We are improving. And that's not so good. So yeah, get comfy. Go maybe get, grab a drink now. By the time you come back, we might be getting... Oh, that was close. That was, that was probably when I was about to give up, and then we got that one. And then things get a little bit worse. Honestly, bear with me. Bear with me. I've got to bear with him. No, no, come on. That's... Oh. If anyone was watching me do this, they were thinking, what is that man? What is that man doing? Anyway, a bit of comedy in the background here. Klinsman! <laughs> uh, I don't think I asked him if he was okay, but that is sort of my parenting style. If, if the child falls over, just laugh it off, get on. If you show any weakness to a fallen child, they're going to cry, they're going to be unhappy, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> anyway, my parenting techniques aside, not getting much closer here. Oh, just the underside there. Oh, it's over, but we're getting it's marginally closer here. I 
think we might be into the 30 attempts or so here. Oh, that was close. Off the backboard. Come on, you got this. This has got to be the one, surely. Surely. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, maybe we don't get this done. Maybe we don't get the focus point for it. But there we go. Lovely stuff. And it only took me 42 goes. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, let me know in the comments. Do you think that is worthy of a second focus point? So, one guaranteed point. That is official. And I think we're going to put it in stamina. It's not sexy. It's not exciting. But that's where we need it. Let me know in the comments whether you think the oh, <laughs> 40 something <laughs> attempts at the flair <laughs> I don't, still have no idea why I called it that um, deserves another training point and where you think we should put it but stamina absolutely crucial if we want to be playing longer minutes in games but we are starting today so hopefully with a good performance we can play the full 90 and really rack up some points and today we are taking on Ratchaburi Mitopol FC they're known as the Dragons. Uh, they finished 8th last season. I think they've just generally been a bit of a mid-table side. They've never won the league. Uh, they won the Thai FA Cup in 2016. Their claim to fame. And on both of the wings today, it's quite a good formation. I like it. We've got their uh, foreign players. It's going to be Langill on our side. 69 rated. Okay. Keep an eye on him for sure. Got a 59 rated keeper. That bodes well. Uh, similar lineup to the last one. Makimi in today in central midfield. He's a destroyer. Anchorman Quay Prum in today. Got Ismail Tulov next to us. 66 rated. Another one of our international players. Barazite starts again. Tried it again. No place for Sarachat today. He's on a downward arrow. And Narubadin, who is a good player. Still not quite as good as us. Unlucky to miss out despite being on full stamina and a green arrow, but Bandovic has given us another chance. And we've got to thank him for that, we really do. So let's get into this one and repay his faith. So under the lights here at the Chang Arena and the Buriram United fans, the Thunder Castle regulars. I don't think they're going to be particularly pleased with the start to our season so far. It's been underwhelming, hasn't it? It's been very underwhelming. But a win in the league today could start to see us looking a little bit more solid. Oh, Karube, lovely work there. We'll find Roller on the overlap. Just make sure we've got our man here. Roller allowed to step inside. You might want to consider marking him. That's our man, Langill, with the effort and his wide, thankfully. We put some pressure on. We did something approaching defending there. Good good stuff, good work. Ball flighted in towards Patino, dealt with well. We'll pick it up here in the centre. Barazite making a run ahead of us. We're going to look to go alone here. No, Langill. Oh. The ball was on, we didn't go for it, and we've lost possession again. Son of a bitch. First touch is good away from our man Langill. Oh, he's made up the ground excellently there. We put the pressure on him, forced him into touch, but we've lost the ball twice. We've passed it to an opposition twice. It's been an awful start to the game. I've thrown about the best thing we've done. We did not want that back there. Can we get into a crossing position though? We'll cross it with the left if we have to. Nope, the right-footed cross. We'll find a man at the edge of the box. And the deflected shot is over. But finally, we've passed the ball. Uh, more by luck than judgment there. <laughs> that has found a blue shirt. Uh, I mean, that was nice. But that was not the plan. Corner here. And we're lurking. Looking to pick up a second ball. <sighs> and the header is... Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Unlucky. Oh, it's not far away either. Just shaving the top of the crossbar there. That's a good ball. First time into Chided. The turn. Bueno's there. It's fallen very kindly to us. Oh, couldn't get it away. Bueno with the effort. And we get the goal. Oh, we were involved there. Unfortunately, I don't think any of those will go down on our permanent record. In terms of assists or goals. Good ball into Chided. We we're very fortunate to have it fall back to us here. The first touch let us down. We tried to get there. We sort of got a touch to it. I don't think that's going to be registered as an assist. But we get the goal, and all we really want today is the three points. That's absolutely key for Buriram at the moment. We're having such a poor start to the season. Oh, almost read that really well. But now Langil will have a chance to get away from us here. Into Gio Udom. No, oh, he's let us we get him get the wrong side there. That's a decent ball in, but I think someone got a touch to it. And now we can move forward again. There's space for us here. So much space. Oh, we were through. 
And that is half time here. Well, we've got the goal without a single shot on target. <laughs> I think that really explains how badly we're doing at the moment. 60% possession as well for the visitors. Our individual match record is going to be pretty poor. We didn't get an assist for that, unfortunately. We've only misplaced two passes. and I think we've been okay positionally. Who knows? We could be on for a 5.5. What a treat that would be. Barazite. That's a poor ball, mate. Better one back into him, though. Now Nasser Barazite. Back inside. That's a, Barazite. That's a good ball to find Ricardo Bueno. Tried it on the turn. Ah, oh, looks to slip us in. No, 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 no. Good pressure there, though. Oh, keeper with a swing and a miss. Uh, but that breaks down. Ultimately, pretty poor. Chida did look for us again, though. We're starting to build that relationship. <sighs> bueno with a misplaced pass there. There's an opportunity here for the visitors. James now. Out to Carabue. He's looking to be their danger man today. Out to Roller, the captain. That's a good ball into Patino. The striker rolls away from his man. It's to the far post looking for our man, Langill. Thankfully, the cross is over here. I think we had it covered. We want it wide. That's actually a decent ball. Keep it in, you fucking twat. No, no, no. Please don't substitute us. Okay, it's chided. I mean, a bit of a shocker today. A bit of a shocker. Ball slipped into the substitute. Mawenta It's given time to turn. Cardo Bueno now. Moenza, yes. Into the box. No, Langill. It's been more than a match for us today. And that's strong defending there from our opposite number. Well, not quite opposite number, but the player we're meant to be marking. And we're going to be substituted off here, aren't we? And we've achieved absolutely nothing again. So, 78 minutes. And unsurprisingly, we're substituted again. Oh, it's going to be another five, isn't it? We're having a shocker at the moment. It really is so reminiscent of real football, or my memories. Or even, you know, the reality of being a footballer. Often you'll get two or three opportunities to either prove your worth or really ruin your reputation in a game. It can be as sparing as that and at the moment that's exactly how things feel. We have chances, small chances to get involved, to play the right ball and we're just missing them. We're just missing them and we're not playing the full minutes because of that. Bandovic doesn't have the faith in us. 89 minutes, come on, just keep it tight. We've been so defensive for this entire second half. That's it. Keep the ball. Far yes. Well, at least we got the win. Bueno's goal, which we played a small hand in. <laughs> I don't know if I had not a single shot on target in that game. And a five as well. The lowest rating in the team. And it's unsurprising. It's unsurprising. We did nothing. Nothing. But the three points, all important there. It's a 1-0 win, but it takes us up to seven. They were top of the table. Shit. Didn't even realise that. That was their first loss of the season. How did I miss that? Anyway, okay, it's actually a really, really good result. Take points off them. We're still nine points behind them. We've got plenty of games left to play. If we can keep this form going, who knows? 5.7, that's, that's concerning. Hope you enjoyed this one. New, slightly shorter format for an episode. Again, let me know in the comments whether you think we deserve an extra focus point. Please, please, we need it. We really need it. And we'll speak again on Monday, I guess. I think. We'll try it out for a bit. See how it feels. We're still getting through roughly the same amount of games a week. Maybe I need to try and step that up. There's not going to be many highlights to this one. So this probably is quite a short episode. Seeing as basically nothing happened. Hopefully the next one will be slightly more exciting. I'll see you in a bit.